and uh, we have rohan murlidharan uh, with his film arodengilum mindade and he is an independent uh, filmmaker arodengilum mind arodengilum mindande sorry <laughs> yeah, he has uh, he has shot one documentary and three short films one of which he directed currently actively involved in advertisement and independent film project uh, projects and is a part of emerging indie movement from india uh, welcome ruben so uh, i am passing mic to rohan uh, to speak a few words about his work hello good afternoon all uh, my name is rohan murlidharan i am the director of arodeng limited uh, someone to talk to uh, to talk about the film is uh, a kind of difficult thing for me because uh, whatever i wanted to show say what uh, is in the film itself but um, i'll maybe give the context of the film uh, it was made during the pandemic i was at home with my mother and i i just wanted uh, i just wanted to observe what was happening uh, around me and as a filmmaker i wanted to see the world not just through my subjective experience so when i started looking around uh, in my every everyday life i started noticing things uh, that that interested me like my mother talks uh, talked a lot about the crows the squirrels the birds that she feeds every day uh, while she uh, while while having breakfast so that was an everyday thing it it happened for like as long as i can remember uh, so one day i just oh this is a thing that she does i wanted to know what is behind it like i just wrote down amma and kro relationship amma mother amma and kro relationship on a sticky note and i stuck it to my wall and i thought about it i talked to her about random stuff and in that process the film came into being uh, i made the film with her no it's not about her uh, i made the film with her so <coughs> that is the film and i would like the people who haven't watched the film to watch it tomorrow uh, and yeah that's the introduction i would like to give thank you if there's anything questions or uh, what if anything you felt about the film please thank you hi so i Hello. heard something interesting about the film about the budget so can you uh, give more details about the budget and uh, maybe some pro tips on how you know how you can uh, take a movies on low budget all newcomers can take so that's my question i am not a pro this is my first film so uh, i'm just i have no idea i don't know how i got here so uh, and the budget is there wasn't a budget really i just started i had a camera uh, my dad bought it for me uh, a couple of years back i like photography so one day i just started taking videos on it i talked to my mother i recorded it on my uh, mobile phone uh, and i had a laptop Uh, i knew how to use premiere pro and that was basically all it took for me to make this film uh, and the only budget that the money i spent is because uh, of the audio recorder i had to rent for one day for the folly and stuff uh, and i i have the privilege of having friends who are uh, also studying uh, film making like sound designers and uh, i have a friend who's a brilliant composer so uh, his name is siddharth uh, and yeah basically that circle of friends that i had really helped a lot because i didn't have to spend money for the sound design uh, i knew editing myself i had a small camera so yeah like mm, when you look at the footage and when you look at it just by frames it's not a grandiose or an epic or uh, obviously beautiful film it's it uh, it's a very rough image uh, so i i think you can make a lot of you can make cinema with that kind of stuff so i don't have any tips or anything just do what you can i guess yeah i like but we are curious about the, the exact amount <laughs> 750 rupees <laughs> thank you so much Okay. 
so um, I watch your film and uh, in the film there are there are sequences where you're saying that yeah, anyway no one, no one gonna watch this it's between you and me and all that stuff so what actually happened after that that you you show that to your mother and uh, was she good with that yeah you can now release or something like that because in the film you're uh, obviously talking to her that no, it's go no one gonna watch this so what's happened after that like yeah so I get this question a lot uh, and that is why I wanted to keep it in the film uh, that question I could easily cut it out but uh, that's also interesting to me uh, uh, I did made the film and I was so anxious and nerve wracking about it because I said this thing if you see if you don't want it to uh, be seen by anyone else no one will see it so my the six months of the work I have put in is based on her decision so yeah after the I ma made it I uh, let uh, I, I showed it to her uh, on, on my laptop uh, and no she didn't say much she just uh, smiled a lot and hugged me and I I, I said corpondo uh, the uh, I asked her if I could show it to other people and she said she was a little bit uncomfortable but she was happy that her son made something that's what I felt that's what I interpreted and she saw how much I struggled to make this so in that sense she was satisfied and today she was at the screening yeah she was in the back seat I wanted her to come on, uh, but she is not. She was uh, isn't interested in that kind of stuff. But yeah, she was there with my father also. Uh, I think that speaks for itself. I think. Yeah, yeah. Thank that's you. It. Any other questions? I know uh, she went home. Uh, right after the screening, she went home. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Rohan. Uh,